Summer Streets 993, your choice for hip hop and R&B. I am your host, Adriana the Personality. Today we kind of have a part two of last week going on. We have the other half of Nashville's hottest label in the city, Ski. He goes by the name of Gan Ski. How are you? Girl, good. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you for being in the building. For those who don't already know you, please introduce yourself. I'm Gans, you know, Gans S K E underscore on Instagram. Go follow me and shit. Hottest in the city. Big ski, they should already know. Right, they should already know, know, know what it is before they tune in. So getting straight into it. Tell us how you believe you got to where you are today in the industry and you know, what did you do or didn't you do to lead you to where you are today? Um, I don't know, I just, the work ethic, the aesthetic, I always drop the system music. Mm -hmm. So I guess it built the buzz up. Mm -hmm. That kind of got me doing, you know, just lead the game, let's push it together. Right. Make it see better. Right. So what 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 does that look like for you? What was that everyday hustle like? Because, I mean, people think about overnight success and they think that it just happens for a person. What was it that you was doing every day, like in the summer, or you and your team was doing to get to even where you are today? Just whatever we doing, just putting on, we just from grinding to face. just keeping it in their face mm -hmm. to just doing whatever we got to do to invest. And just keep it going because it, it's we like we at a certain point where it's straight, but we still got a lot a lot of way to go. So, for um, sure, for sure. So when did you decide that okay, rap? This is I'm gonna take this serious, and this is what I'm gonna do. At what point in your life? I always knew this is what I wanted to do though, but mm -hmm. like a year ago, we really just been really pushing. Like this always been like a habit, like a I don't know how to say it, like a just. Some I always did, but I, I was just really just playing around with it. Mm -hmm. But now we really like trying to like change our lives. Right, right, right. So did you have any type of like industry influences growing up? As far as like rappers? See, like, I don't know, like Tupac my favorite rapper, so you feel like but nah not really though. Like Corny Cash. Mm -hmm. Shout out to actually, Corny. actually somebody that's like my uncle, you know, that's so that's family, so mm -hmm. I always seen him, mm -hmm. how he did his shit. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's what's up. So, tell. okay, we gotta run this question back. We already asked one half, and we gotta ask you, who is Ski? Ski. Who is Ski? Ski is a label. And it's, it's Ski. So it's not a person? No, nah, it's not a person. It's street connected everywhere, the okay. label. Okay, bet, 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 So, bit. you know, that's what Ski is. So we, cause we we see a, a zillion skis on on on, yeah. <laughs> on Instagram. We so all skis like, though, you know. So that's why it's gonna be the ones that's actually ski that got in their name. Right. We are skis though. So right, right. So how did ski start? I had really just I always knew I want I wanted something that I wanted to create. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like as far as for me and all my homies and shit like. Some like a brotherhood. Like, you know, well, well, you know when you get them, when you rapping, you just gonna start your own stuff anyway. Like right. you gonna name something, you gonna come up with a name. Mm -hmm. That's basically how it happened. Then, you know, me and my homeboys, you know, they put put with the, they parts in it too. So you feel For me? Sure. Like, yeah. Okay, that's what's up. So getting into the music, you and your team are always doing numbers on YouTube daily. How does that feel to know that you have such a huge following and, you know, support system like all around the world? Because, I mean, we have several different artists here in the city that's doing music but don't see the numbers that y'all see uh, as fast as y'all see them. That feels good because I was at that point before too. Mm -hmm. I ain't, I wasn't really just getting views like that. Mm -hmm. So to see the growth is always you know, it's great. It's mm -hmm. good. It feels good though. So, you know. The support. Yeah. So so you you just dropped Ain't Easy, you know, produced by a Na another Nashville native uh, who was a prominent producer, band play. What spun this single and how did you guys get in the yo together? I've been recording with Ben for years though. Uh -huh. I've been like in with Ben play. So how did A Easy come about? Man, just like a regular studio session. I did, I did this song probably about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, I just be licking on the mic and got them. I don't know, I ain't write it and then I just 
got off, said it off the top, it was done quick. Mm -hmm. We we got so many songs together though, so it's just like yeah, the studio six. We got plenty of hits, I ain't gonna drop yet. Right, right. So I mean, you always working with prominent, you know, producers. You work with DJ Cash. Uh, we already said band play, gritty money, take keys. What is it about you? You think that attracts these top tier producers or industry producers? Um, they just see they see the, they see the growth too. Mm -hmm. You know, they see we really got the city so. It's hard for them not to, you know. It's hard to be ignored. Well, yeah, it's hard to be ignored. For real, sure. it's hard to be ignored. For sure. So you and your label made Quiz, where you also working with Tay Keith. Uh, tell us how that happened and how you guys, I mean, he actually was in a video, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us how that happened and how that chemistry was on set. Tay Keith, he just, uh, he tapped in with us, you know. He been let us know that he was up on our music, but we been knowing we was going to tap in with him, but he finally put it together. Mm -hmm. He had a studio session, and you know, we went through his couple little beats, and we mm -hmm. did, like, two songs with him. What's him, and, him and his uh, uh, producer, Avi. Uh-huh, Avi. Yeah. Okay, so what, when you looking for a beat, because, you know, y'all got them different kind of beats, you know, uh, them, it just... I always think about what's his name, Crash Max. Y'all got them different kind of strong, just like make you feel type beats. So, what is it that you look for in a beat to make you be like, okay, yeah, that's the one, that's it? It just, I don't know, the beat kind of choose my mood or how I'm gonna come or how I'm gonna rap on the song or what I'm gonna talk about. Uh huh. So, it just, I, don't, I just like good quality beats. It could be any type of beat though. Like, it just, as long as it sound good. Right. Yeah, I can probably rap. I can work and rap on it. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, do you got any possible features coming up? Because we saw where 1017's Pooh Shiesty was turned to y'all music on live one day. And I ain't gonna lie. I was on a, I feel like it was me. I feel like they was listening to my music. I'm like, bruh, do y'all hear this? So, you know, tell us, you know, first of all, how does that make you feel? Shit, that shit feel good to see you feel the niggas fucking with that shit, though. For sure. We, we tap in with them too, though. So, you know. so is y'all gonna do a song or not? Because y'all keep asking y'all, yeah, and ain't nobody said that. We gonna put something together for sure, though. It's gonna, when? It's gonna pop out. You gotta drop it on the streets. We gotta know. give us a date, a timeline. I ain't even got a date for you right now. I ain't gonna lie. Ain't okay, so has the studio session happened? What, with Pooh Uh huh. Nah, I ain't, no, I ain't in no studio session. Okay, okay. We gonna tap in, you know, cause you feel. Okay, you have any um any major uh features coming up uh here in the next couple of months that you don't mind sharing with the streets? Really, I'm trying to see right now. I got, I ain't really just got nothing I can just say right now. Mm -hmm. you know, I do got a feature though. I don't want to say though. Dang, you gotta <laughs> drop it exclusively here. It's the home it's time. Drop. I'm trying to, you know, everything in the fish right now. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Yeah, but it, we gonna work with plenty of people. We we definitely. You know what I'm saying? They definitely help with what's going on, so it's on the way. So tell us how you want your supporters, your fans, the younger people inspiring to do what you do uh, and how they view you. What is it that one thing you want them to take away from your music or the way that you move? Because like I told uh, uh, Quiz, whether y'all believe it or not, y'all are moving this generation. Y'all are influencing this next generation coming up and they look to y'all every day. I need to see what Gans is doing. I need to see how I need yeah. to move, you know. So what is it that, what is the message that you want them to take away when when listening to your music or watching you daily on social media? Mm -hmm. Don't just be yourself. Be what's true to you, you know. Follow your dreams, you know. Just try to uh, make it out. It, make, it gotta be about a profit, whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. You gotta be profit and benefiting you. So that's the only thing I can really just say other than, you know, you know how to keep it real. So bit, 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 bit. Gans, thank you so much for your time. We always like to host a space for our guests to manifest and affirm things and call things into their lives. So in the next six months, tell us two things that you would like to manifest for yourself or for your for your dreams and where you going, where you headed. A lot of money, plenty of houses. Money and houses. Land, all that. You know, I'm just trying to, that's the type of thing I'm trying to manifest. You know, take care of the people. 
So it is. Let us know how we can continue to keep up with you on all social media platforms and how we can continue to stream your music. What up? It's the Big Ski Gans. Go follow me on Instagram, Gans SKE underscore. Go subscribe to my YouTube, Gans SKE Ski. Yeah. Well, please do the honors of introducing your latest single, Ain't Easy, on the streets. That Gans Ain't Easy, produced by Band Play out on YouTube right now. It's the real hot shit. Go get tuned in. Y'all, that was Gans right here on the streets. Ski.